Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to the Mise because I'm going to harvest some kangkong so I can cook sauteed kangkong today. Come on, join me! It's been a while since uh, I went to have a video here in the Mise and as we can see it's so clear now. It's not much uh, bushes right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna check and if I can get some kangkong because I'm craving to eat kangkong today and I'm going to cook it the Filipino style adobong kangkong. I hope I can find some kangkong today. Before I get the kangkong here but seems like there's no more kangkong right here. So I will just gonna check out if we can still find a kangkong here but no more they all cut it so let's find on the other side <laughs> i'm going to find a kangkong and i'm going to make adobo kangkong today <laughs> look at how cute this one <laughs> so Trey, are you here yeah. where are you <laughs> so someone in the Messe Sutri is what are you doing Sutri today? Ah So you're planting? Yeah no plan already finished Mam bidding in the plant and then I am already mesala finished finish ah uh, so how many days this one how many weeks already it uh, looks maybe one month you're gonna harvest this ah well, after one month you're gonna harvest yeah harvest oh wow look at that yeah so fast eh yeah fast see very good yeah i very think good. the weather is uh yeah. quite nice uh today and uh Lately, it's been raining here in Republic of Palau and last night I was just staying at home. I didn't go to the concert because mm. I was watching Miss Universe oh. and uh, I'm a really a, a bit disappointed with the result of Miss Universe. Philippines only reached up to top 10, didn't come up to top 5 but anyway. Uh, today, I was just going to cook kangkong. Oh. So I'm looking for a uh, kangkong. We still have kangkong over yeah, there. Yeah, you like kangkong? Yeah. Okay, I can take. Yeah, you bring over here and your cell phone. Very good and very nice in the kangkong. Where? Oh, uh, over here. No, I went there. I checked, but I don't see any kangkong. No, there is, but you don't know. This is kangkong over here. Okay, what about over there? There's no more kangkong there? No more. I am already cut. Why kangkung. you cut the kangkong? This kangkong, never mind. There is over here. That's why I'm not cut. There is very good in the kangkong over here. Very good. Over there? Oh, yeah. Okay, I am so. also today taking one bundle. You did today? Yeah, today okay. taking one bundle. So I will finish. Yeah, because I'm going to be cooking uh, adobo kangkong. Oh. Okay. This is a new kalan over here. And I look at it. I usually get my kangkong on that area over there, but no more. Uh, Okay, I have my scissor and my basket over here. Can we get? Yeah, you finish. I go over here and I take it. You come over here. Okay, I go with you. Yeah, you come. Okay. Hi, Nako. Why you cut all the kangkong? Never mind. Taro pa tayo na nili si Bagan. Kangkong girl. Hi. Now, so I'm right here in the taro patch. So three were going to show me where the kangkong is. <laughs> All right, you did a very good job, huh? Yeah. I You're know. the expert. Yeah, I know this is in the taro patch and the taro moor. See, this is in the masalo, mambiring in the kalan. I can kalan again. Mm. Yeah, see, new kalan. Oh, this is new also? Uh, this is new. Mm -hmm. 
This is new. This is new. I see. Yeah, this is new. This is Only today or how many days? Only this is in the three days. And three days. Oh, I am already fella. Okay. This is Elo Taro, Sepao. And here's the nganga, some yeah. boot right here. Yeah. Still small though. Not yet having a fruit. This is a taro farming in the heart of Koror. The pineapple already have fruit? Yeah, already have two. See? Already have Oh fruit. yeah. Very big fruit. See? Very big fruit? Yeah. Yeah, it's not ripe yet, right? Yeah, not yet. Okay. See, my bit nut salad. This is new salad. Yeah, after five years you're gonna have some beetle nut. Oh yeah. No need to buy. No need to buy. Mm -hmm. No need to buy. This one have some small yeah. bill nut, but yeah. it's not that much. See? And then over? Oh no! What happened to my shoes? Oh, this. Oh, this is in the soil. Mm? Oh, oh, soil. See? Yeah, I, I thought it's a poop. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh no, okay. Oh. Ah! Mm. Okay, no problem. Why it's so mm. smelly? See, it's small. <laughs> I am over. I can tell on. Yeah. Very nice. What's See? that one? And uh, another kind taro. Yeah, that one is uh, the one that you're going to make for cooking with coconut milk, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When it comes to planting taro, I don't know, the soil here is really nice for planting taro. Maybe because of uh, we're in the ocean? <laughs> I'm this, not really sure. This is new. So, what's in your little house? What's that one? For the... Banana leaf and the uh, taro. Mm. Mm. And you have some boot right here. Yeah, I have harvest. Ah, uh, he Mama. harvest a little bit of boot. Oh, yeah. Very good, Sutre. So Sotre, we're going to help me to get Cancun because I don't know where the Cancun went. It's almost gone. <laughs> so we have to go back over there. Yeah. Let's, I went over there and I checked it but no more Cancun. You already take over it? Yeah. This one is still a lot of grass. Yeah. This one Antimina also? No, another somebody. Ah, for someone. That's yeah. why he didn't took out the grass on that yeah. side Mamina like that and then kill him so this is where i went earlier yeah but there's no kanku it's been a while that i didn't eat the uh, kangkong adobo oh no see look ah okay <laughs> can you get me some yeah eh, here here you can use my basket wait Use, use, use that uh, scissor and like that. <laughs> when you eat vegetable, <laughs> so so three we're going to get some kangkung for me and then we're going to cook it uh, Filipino style I'm going to make an adobo kangkung today because it's been like a week that we don't eat vegetable we always eat like chicken fish and some canned goods and I think it's much better if you're going to balance it and you know you have days that you have to just eat vegetable all right it's really hot today yesterday was raining eh yeah yesterday this and that and Saturday, rain, rain, too much rain. Too much rain. It's good for the kangkung when it's raining. Yeah. Because they grow fast. Yeah, very fast to grow. Mm -hmm. Sutri is very kind enough to get me some kangkung. <laughs> ah, it's really hot. Day in the farm. <laughs> Cost of living here in Palau, it's a little bit higher compared to 
uh, most of the islands, especially if you're buying some stuff in the store and you're buying some canned goods and some meat all the time. But if you know how to utilize your budget and you will do a backyard gardening, you can save a lot also because uh, the soil here in the Republic is very good. You can plant some local vegetable which you can use for your daily uh, cooking and you know you just mix it up mix up mix up with meat fish chicken and then you put some vegetable to make it nutritious that's the way that you can survive here in republic of palau in a cheaper version like the one that i'm doing right now um i'm going to make some odoim out of kangkung which i don't really have to buy it in the store we just have here in the backyard and in this way you can you know you can budget your expenses by cooking some vegetable that you have in the garden i think it's enough for so today thank you so much don't forget my uh what you call this my scissor mm. is my basket full yeah so if you're gonna buy this kangkung in the store it's gonna be like maybe 250 dollars right yeah two dollars and fifty cents but here it's for free we can just go around over here and find the kangkung now i'm scared to cross because look at that because uh, thank you so today okay. what's your ulam for today what do you eat for lunch uh, eggs eggs yeah yeah even eggs in palau it's a bit expensive nowadays you know yeah, it's four dollar and 25 cents i think but before when i first came to palau it's 250 now it's four dollars it's double the price hmm? five dollar five dollar now yeah oh i saw it they have a sale for the eggs it's 475 or 425 Mm. But if you have a lot of chicken, you can have some eggs as well for free. But the chicken around here in the Republic of Palau, the small ones, the one, the free range chicken, it's really small. So the egg is also very tiny. <laughs> okay, Satre. So okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, bye. 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 See bye. you later. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. So I'm going up and let's cook this kangkung that I have in my basket. You want to eat kangkung? Ah. So we have a kangkung right now. And we also have cheeseburger McDonald's from the US. <laughs> Thank you, Leah. So let's wash this kangkung. I have plenty actually. I have like two bunch of kangkung. This one, if you're going to buy it in the store in the market, it's gonna be like a dollar and twenty-five cents for this, and a dollar and twenty-five cents it's two fifty for the kangkung. But here we only have it for free. <laughs> yes. Wash it off. Washy washy. It's a very clean kangkong. It's not really like the one that we have in the Philippines that it's floating in the mud. This one, it's like an upland uh, kangkong. It's just uh, growing on the top of the soil and it's not submerged in the mud. So I will just going to wash it off, make it clean and make sure that there's no caterpillar or worm <laughs> all right so there you go and i will prepare our kangkung for today so we have the kangkung here what we're gonna do is when we're harvesting kangkung don't just harvest the top one uh, you have to include the stock as well. This stock right here, uh, we're gonna use it for making the adobo kangkung. So I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare my adobo kangkung Filipino style here in Island Republic of Palau. So 
you have to cut it long like this you separate the one with the leaf and this one it looks like asparagus eh <laughs> So you also have to slice it like this. That's the way you do it. It's quite soft, so you have to make sure when you get it from uh, the farm, you have to make sure that when you cut it, don't get the hard stuff. Just get the softer ones. And then from there, you're going to chop it like this. Don't chop, including your fingers. Just the kangkung. Vitamin A and also very good for your packet because it's a budget vegetable here in the island. It's not expensive. If you're going to buy a napa here, it's quite expensive the napa here or we call it in the Philippine pet, pet chai. But it's almost the same nutrients that you can get. So, you know. Sometimes it's nice to just get the local vegetable that will squeeze your budget in making some odon. And today, we're doing it. Okay, we have the stock right here. And now we're going to slice the leaves as well. But in this leaf, you don't slice it the way you slice the stock. You make it a little bit bigger in length. Longer than the one that you chopped earlier. It's like that. Kangkung is also very good for sinigang. You can uh, cook kangkung uh, with the sinigang and also the one that I have on my video guys when we're making a koroke Kangkung is really good and here in the island It's my first time to see that they're also making a salad out of kangkung in the Philippines We don't do it, but here in the island you can make this raw kangkung as a salad and you just uh, put like a mayo right now mayo and some dressing that you like so we have it here the stock and the leaves so i changed my shirt because i was sweating a lot when i went to the taro patch so we're going to uh, chop some onions and garlic and come on join me <laughs> and garlic as well And Joseph, uh, Saturday, he was sick. He's got a flu. So we just stayed at home. And today, I'm going to cook something because he likes to eat vegetable as well. That boy really likes to eat vegetable. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. But we're going to make a twist on making our Cancun adobo. Adobo, and I'm going to use a meatloaf instead of the tuna that we usually use for a kangkong. This meatloaf is from Korea. So you can get any meatloaf that you like. And you can put it with your kangkong. So we have to put oil. We put our onion and garlic just saute it mm. you can really smell the garlic and onion it's a very good combination i also try in bangladesh when they're cooking uh kangkung they usually cook it with a uh, curry but here we're just gonna use like adobo style so don't wait until your onion and your garlic is brown already so in this way uh, it's not gonna be like black overcooked when you put the meatloaf that we have so I'm going to put the meatloaf 
you know, when I'm in the mood of cooking something, especially uh, this, just a simple dish, I always like to share it with you guys because you can make this at home and you don't really have to spend a lot of money just to make an odor for a day. And today, this menu will really going to give you a lot of nutrients for your body, good for your mind, good for your stomach, and good for your soul. <laughs> So our meatloaf is uh, a little bit brown already, it's got some color already. So the next thing that we're going to do, we didn't put any seasoning yet. So what we're going to do is we put a um, black pepper. And the next one that we're going to put is the stock of the kangkum. This one. This is this is not asparagus, okay? <laughs> yeah. You know, in the place where I came from, in the Philippines, uh, every time I go and visit my uncle over there uh, in Jensan, they have a lot of asparagus and. You know, it's very cheap. I can get it for free every time I I go and visit my relatives over there. So, I miss asparagus as well. I sometimes see aspar asparagus here in the island. I can see some in Sorang sometimes, but it's too expensive. But, you know, they also have the asparagus in cans, but I don't really like it. So, I'd rather go with this kind of vegetable that we have. So, here you go. This is how it looks like. It's really pretty, eh? Look at that. I'll give you some mix for flavoring. Make it like this. Mix, mix, mix. Don't add any water. Because uh, there's a natural water of uh, the kangkung, or in English they call this swamp plant or swamp cabbage. So there's a natural water in it, so definitely the water will come out from the kangkung. We put a little bit of soy sauce, just small, just to give it a color, like that. No need to put a lot. And a little bit of Philippine vinegar, just all the small, just a teaspoon of vinegar to make a little bit sour because it will balance the taste. Like that. So if I'm the only one who's gonna be eating this, I will put a little bit of bagoong. This bagoong, but I think uh, we will skip it today because. Uh, I will uh, let the aunties to taste it as well. So no need to put bago. So I don't like my kangkung to be dry so much. So I will add something that will add a flavor and smell on it. I have this sesame oil. So I will add sesame oil, a little bit of sesame oil, just a teaspoon. So this is how it looks and now we're going to add the leaves. So this is how it looks right now, the sauteed kangkong that I did. It's just, I call it kangkong adobo because I put uh, vinegar and soy sauce in it the way you're making adobo. and. To add more taste on it, we have the meatloaf, so I didn't put any water on it. So the sauce, it's got a sauce from the Cancun. Look how tasty it is. And it's cheap, but not cheap with nutrition. It's full of vitamins that good for our body. That's it, so come on. Let's eat! 
I'm so sweaty. <laughs> oh, this one is really good. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I can just eat this one whole day without any rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 